Hello everyone, welcome to my first video of From the Depths. Today I have a special special plan to build a big ass ship with a lot of guns. So it's based around this one that I already built. Uh, it's called Dunt, which is a name, the name of the original ship. So this is based around Dante whatever, it's an Italian battleship, which I think it didn't exist but it is in world of warships if you know that game so it's a tier 4 in that game but let's talk about from the depths which is the important matter so in preparation for this video i already did some work so i changed a bit of the hull from the other ship so i basically made it longer it's still the same width it's still the same shape basically it's just a bit longer and you can see basically the extension here. I didn't even use paint here because I really wanted to see the difference basically. So the other ship was already a bit extended but this one is even further because it is going to be more like a Japanese battle cruiser, something like that. So Congo class, uh, something similar but totally different so the the plan i have is to have a lot of guns in some turrets and uh, a big ass tower because i really want this ship to be imposing and strong i still don't have any idea how much materials it's going to cost so the other ship costs around uh, 70 000 more something like that I don't really want this to be extremely expensive because I want to use this in the campaign. I don't know when, I don't know if go if I'm going to even record it, but yeah, if I'm going to do campaign with the ships I'm going to build on video, I'm probably going to record it. It depends on the feedback. So while I'm doing some other things like putting air pumps so the ship doesn't sink while I'm trying to demonstrate, I want to give out some warnings i think so basically i'm not that confident in my english so i haven't used it like this for this purpose at least for recording videos most of the time it's the opposite it's me watching the videos so if i do make mistakes and if for example the fps on the game isn't that good i'm trying to improve on it so for the time being please bear with it and if you have uh, some advice that you can give out, please do. Uh, just comment on the comment section and I'm going to be <laughs> almost 100% of the time looking out for comments. So yeah, now for the ship. As I said, I really want to have a lot of turrets. If possible, I want to have another middle turret. And also, I just remember now that this turret is incorrect but i'll talk about it later because it is a thing that i kind of discovered which in old from the depths you couldn't use basically so the first thing i usually do on my ships is as you can see put a, a, a hull on the water and simply shape the interior so i usually start from the exterior and then work to the interior and then do the top layer of the ship so for starters i built like a a small I don't know what you would call this, but basically it's extra protection against torpedoes or even shells from from the underside of the ship. And later I'll probably use it to hide some propellers so I can balance the ship better. But if possible, I don't actually want to use them because I want this thing to be actually pretty cheap, pretty cheap for what it is, not a ship, I'm sorry and fast I, I really wanted this to be fast but i'm quickly realizing that it probably won't be so what i do next after placing down some basic protection on the underside of the ship i just put down the turrets see what i think it is best so if i want more turrets on the front uh, uh, anything like that and also the distance between them. It is important because I have to give out some space, some space, I'm sorry, for uh, 
the turrets to rotate, for example. Yeah, for the time being they are going to be like that. I have to armor it up, which is the next step. I usually put down the turrets and right after that I armor them so that I can build the rest of the ship around it, basically. So one important thing about this ship is that it isn't going to be that well armored, at least for the price and the amount of guns it's going to have. So for most of the turrets, it's going to be like one layer of top armor. So if a shell can penetrate through, if a shell can hit this region right here, it can pierce very easily and just obliterate the shells inside. So yeah, that's going to be a thing to look out for. But uh, usually the shells don't really hit that part. They usually hit the side of the turret if the turret isn't actually aiming at the opponent. But yeah, I'm kind of praying that they actually don't. I'm believing on my experience, but nah, don't don't really trust me, please. Okay, so now I armed up the rear and fourth gun, but now I need to armor up the probably the most boring turrets which are the the top ones so the ones that are going to be a bit higher because I will need to modify the turret so that it is longer on the neck I guess so now that I've armored up the neck of the turret what I'll do is just save the turret as it is and then use it at the back and simply change the restrictions in the in the bottom part so yeah so after some time I decided that the front turret is going to be here so it is to stay and I started armoring up so my armor scheme most of the time is a lot of open space uh, so I can put air pumps, I can put engines, I can put whatever I want and also it works as space armor and this ship is big for the old areas and I won't be needing that much engine power and stuff like that so yeah a lot of open space and I'm going to use it for basically armor. So another tip I have is a kind of strange one, Most, at least that I know most people don't do this which is basically instead of using metal, metal alloy or even reinforced wood I simply use wood for the front and the back parts of the ship so like in real life most of the warships didn't really have any armor at the front or at the back because it doesn't have anything essential so also in from the depths the ships will be focusing on ammo, AI, guns, stuff like that so you don't have any of that at the front or at the back so it doesn't really matter the armor that you have there I simply put some wood so that it floats a bit more and also I can just put storage for resources or uh, auxiliary engines for example stuff like that but since I am using wood most of the time I do a double layer deck so it can pierce one block but it still has another at the bottom and this is how I do my bow on my ships in the sense of building because the shape of the hull I didn't actually do it yeah I didn't mention that but the hull I'm using I actually think it is from the from the from the depths itself so here I think it is one of them wait it isn't where the hell did I get this hull? So most of the times, so basically all of the times actually, at least in recent times, I don't build my hulls because I really don't like building them and I don't like the, and I also don't like the look of the hulls I built. So I know how to build basic ones and I can even do a tutorial about it. So like simple tips for people who are starting out on From the Depths and want to know how to build a basic simple hull be it for a destroyer a battleship a cruiser whatever so you can do just like me but i can also teach you how to start off basically also the guns are actually based around the guns of another ship from the campaign which i don't actually remember so the look of it 
it's different. It was designed by me, copying the Italian ship, which I based around the other ship. But the interior of the ship, so the Tetris, is from another ship. But I did mess around with the fire rate and stuff like that. Also, the shells are completely different. These ones are not that long, actually. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit underwhelming for their caliber, but yeah. So basically, a pattern you are going to see in a lot of my builds is that most of them use things from other ships. So yeah, <laughs> that can be both good and bad. So for me, it is good because I can just speed run through the build. And most of the times I know that things will work and that they will look kind of decent. Also, they will look familiar. Most of my builds do look familiar with each other because I use parts from one to another, stuff like that. But one thing I basically always do is change it up a bit. Even if I copy the gun from others, other people, designs, especially from the campaign, I usually change around stuff, be it the, for example, the missiles, I can change the, the missiles to be more, with more explosive adds, things like that. Or even the fire rate of the APS guns, for example, which is what I did here. So the front part of the ship is done for now. I'll add on resources and stuff like that later. For now, I'm just basically doing it from one tip to another actually i'm starting on both tips and working my way to the middle because in the middle i'm not so sure what i'm going to do about the bridge and uh, the middle turret i'm starting to think to just not use the middle turret and just spend the resources of the turret at helicopter blades i wasn't remembering the word so that my ship can maybe go at 25 30 I don't really know how many meters per second I'm going to do. This hole is really wide, so yeah, don't expect much. Just as I said, I'm going to do the same at the back, it's going to be all wood. And so, after half an hour, a bit more, I did this. For now, it isn't much progress, at least for how much I talked. I don't know if I'm going to cut out more, most of it, I don't know... How long I'm going to do my videos yet? I'm trying to figure thing. I'm trying to figure things out. So yeah, please bear with it. I'm sorry if I trigger people with my accent. I know it isn't that good. I'm Portuguese, by the way. If it isn't noticeable by my older videos and stuff, but yeah, I'm quick quickly realizing that uh, I should just build stuff and then do a. A bit of a sum up of what I did so that you don't have to see most of the boring stuff like what I'm doing right now basically just putting blocks on top of another okay now I'm a bit uh, I'm a bit confused of what to do you see now that I have kind of laid out the way my bridge is going to be it's going to be a big tower on top of this I'm actually thinking that maybe this layer so these two blocks could just follow through and connect with this turret and then this middle turret could be sitting on top of these blocks the problem with having the middle turret a bit more upwards it's that the weight of the ship is going to be a lot higher not only is the turret going to be higher but also this middle part is going to be armored up with more metal. So yeah, you can quickly see that my ship is going to become top heavy. Especially because I'm going to have a big turret at the front. Which is already is going to be a big trouble for the equilibrium of the ship. But I really like the idea. It's something different of what I usually do. So yeah, congratulations middle turret. You are going to be two blocks higher and... You are officially between two funnels. I mean, not officially, but yeah, in no time you are going to. So, the thing I discovered about the middle turret is that you can actually just lay two turrets on top of each other and put restrictions 
on it. Okay, that's a difficult word to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> so that you can either shoot to one side or the other. It doesn't shoot uh, to the front, it doesn't shoot to the back. Which is what I want, because friendly fire is a big thing when you are building with middle turrets. Because most of the time, especially in the old From the Depths, where the fail saves weren't that good, where you couldn't do this with the turrets. At least I think. I remember that I tried doing this, but I actually couldn't. So yeah, I ended up with a ship, which was really epic <laughs> in the looks department. But in reality, yeah, there was a turret that was constantly firing at, at his own ship so basically the turret was right here and when it faced this other turret at the front the failsafe didn't stop it and also I didn't I couldn't just put restrictions on the turret and it ended up shooting either the main bridge at the back or the front turret we no longer have that problem I fixed it when I built Dante, so the other Italian ship. So now I'm going to start working on the internals of the ship, so the engine, the ammo, the AI, everything like that, which is actually the fastest part, because I don't really like messing with it and I usually don't mess with it. So yeah, as you saw, that was my armor layout for the ammunition, so there's a bunch of ammunition here, not a lot of protection at the bottom and there's some heavy armor and space and armor and space. So basically that's it, not really complicated, I'm not really spending that much time thinking about it because usually I do this and it just works. So for the AI it's going to be exactly the same armor layout. A big box of heavy, heavy armor and just some metal surrounding it basically. Also I didn't show but I am putting up some metal here so I'm kinda imagining if the shell comes from the top it is going to penetrate the wood, it's going to have to go through a layer of metal, then it's going to be another layer of metal and then the heavy armor. So the idea is that Wherever the shell comes from, it's going to have to pass through some two, uh, yeah, two layers of metal and heavy armor. Also, remember to put air pumps everywhere. You want our ship to be floaty, unless you are building a submarine or, I don't know, a hydrofoil or whatever. So, for the main power plant of the ship, it's not actually complicated what I'm doing. It's just a prefab from the steam engines. It's this one. So it is an hybrid engine. It's basically a steam engine. Steam engine producing electricity which is then used for electric motors. So for now I have two of them but I'm going to spread some other ones and also and also some smaller ones. The ship is almost done, yay! After almost one hour and a half. As you can see, there actually isn't much time for the ship that I'm building. Currently, it's at this material price. It isn't that much, actually. I'm kind of surprising myself at the price, to be honest. But yeah, as I was saying, I actually haven't spent that much time building this which is down to my methods. I, as you can see, I copy a lot of stuff, so I use the prefabs from the game. You don't need to be shy about it, so it's there, it's a tool you can use. You don't need to be afraid of telling others or simply using them, just because you weren't the one using them. Uh, you weren't the one creating them, especially with this community. From the depths has such a cool community. You don't really need to be. So here it is, Tatsui in all its might. The the name is the name of the battleship. It's Tatsui. In case you didn't get it. So yeah, it has. Uh, one, two, three. Two seconds later. Fifteen guns, I think. 
I counted it wrong. But what is important is that I did it. I actually did it, guys. Can I have a round of applause, please? Yeah. So I have a ship with actually not that much horsepower now that I'm seeing it. Only 12,000, which is not a lot, but I'm probably not going to use shields, so yeah, it's no, no problem. What I'm trying to say is that now that I've done all the important stuff, so the interior of the ship, etc., I can just rest a bit, see what I can do about it, if I want to, to change some things, and then start working on the main tower, the funnels, the AA guns, which is also a big part of it. I'm going to use simple weapons. Maybe I'm building secondaries. I don't know. I uh, I don't know if it really fits with the ship since Congo class ships, which is what it this is based around, didn't actually have big secondaries. It was those casemates and stuff like that. So yeah. And just in case some people wanted to see, here it is the armor layout so yeah as you can see it still has a lot of open space like a lot of them especially between the turrets i actually didn't finish armoring the turrets up now that i'm thinking about and also as you can see the the forward and the backward turrets aren't that armored compared to the middle turret and that's because most of the incoming fire is going to be aimed at the middle of the ship. At least I think. So this one is a bit more armored. And also so that when this turret blows up. If it blows up. <laughs> uh, it won't damage that much the other things. So yeah what I need to do is armor a bit more this, this part between the turrets. Since it is actually <laughs> dangerous how it is. It's only a layer of metal and a layer of wood and you can pierce to that which is actually kind of dumb also this front part needs a bit more and so is the same for the back so yeah guys now that i've done this as i said a million million of times i'm just going to decorate this i'm going to build the aa the main bridge the funnels whatever and see you in a bit Hello everyone, I'm back. Actually, it took me one day, okay, not one day, but it took me some time to actually figure out what I wanted to do with the tower, with the, the main bridge and the funnel and stuff. And I actually didn't do most of the things that I said I would. But before we get into that, let's just notice one thing. Can you spot it? What's the big difference between the, the hole on the right, which is the one that I modified, and the one on the left, which is basically where I left off. Yeah. The the turret and the, the decoration basically made the ship really unstable and top heavy. And also simply heavier. Yeah, the ship, the ship sinks a lot more and it rocks a lot more so that's a problem i'll have to figure out for now it doesn't have any propellers and it doesn't go that fast but now let's get right into the important stuff i haven't yet put any camo because uh, i think it is easier to show what i've done without the camo on so let's start as you can see in the bow i only put the, an anchor and some chains it's always the same strategy I use in all ships. I'll use a missile winch block, some chains and just modify the bow to accommodate a, an anchor. Easy as that. I spread around some pipes and pressure vents and stuff like that. Boats, a lot of boats, uh, some <laughs> doors. There's also one on the, the back turret. I put some spotlights, I put some AA. I think I'm going to change this a bit. So this isn't actually the final version of, of the ship. Please remember that. I'm going to change it even further. Not not big changes so this is close to the final form but there are some things that i still need to figure out better and now to the main part of the decoration basically 
it's the tower. I haven't done a tower like this one, so like the Japanese style, which is basically you have the classic main tower, but then you kind of get a bridge which goes to the back and then it starts going forward again, which is a bit strange, but I, th I do think it, it looks good. It is kind of absurd <laughs> the size of the towers in real life, but in games it does look good and this one isn't actually that tall compared to the proportions of the real one. So it's currently empty on the inside, it's basically just for show and it does have some AA guns which I had to put a lot of restrictions on so they don't have that much firing angle. I also didn't have, I didn't spend that much time thinking about the fire angle so they could be better but I honestly don't really care. Oh, another feature this tower actually provides is a lot of detection. So as you can see, it has a lot of coincidence range finders spread around it. On the other side, it's exactly the same. It's mirrored. Now for the funnel, I actually didn't really like the, the final result. Maybe I am going to change the style of it. It actually looks a bit more of a American, French battleship vibe, when what I wanted is a kind of Japanese vibe, so maybe it will be a lot more round, I guess. A lot more round and just straight up instead of having an angle. For now, it will look like, like this. And as you can see, it has more AA guns. Then, for the back tower, I actually didn't really know what to do, so I'm not really that happy with the result. I think it does look a bit strange having another one of these bridges, I guess. But it is actually the, the best result I have. And also this just looks a bit too tall for my liking. And right at the back I just stick a flag on and some crane and a uh, crane and some airplane takeoff things. I don't know the name. So as you can see. I really did my best to just kind of use the little space that I had. I'm kind of disappointed that I actually couldn't have two middle turrets instead of just one. But the ship does have a lot of guns. I mean, it has 15 guns. It is a lot of them. And, as I will talk about it later, it does pack quite a bunch. So, for those wondering, the price of the ship right now is this one. It isn't that expensive. But compared to the other ships that I have, it, uh, it is actually really expensive. Especially when you take into consideration that it doesn't have any uh, alley blades on the interior. So for top speed, it doesn't have any propellers on the bottom. So that it can stabilize a lot better since it is quite bouncy. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to add it later so that I can use the... PIDs and stuff. I don't really want to mess it, mess with it now. So, if this ship appears again on my Twitter, which you can follow in the bottom, I'm going to leave in the description. You will see the final, final result or the versions that I will be providing. Oh, and also the AI actually isn't programmed or even working yet. As you can see, I have spawned a Marauder. But the ship isn't even firing. Although the turrets are already programmed so that they don't rotate too much or anything like that or fire at my own ship. So let's just test. As you can see, it is quite a sight when this ship fires. I mean, it just goes <laughs> right into the opposite side because of the recoil. And it just looks amazing. Look at those shells. Imagine if I had even just one more turret. There they go. Oh my god, they actually hit most of them. Because the problem I had with the, the Dunt ship is that it was really, really bad with it aim. And for the second volley. Oh my god, this is actually really accurate. I mean, the Marauder is not really that far, but even so, man. Oh 
Holy. I mean, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Just look at this. Oh my god, that's so satisfying. I have to do another ship which has just a lot of turrets. I mean, I could do a ship which has uh, three front turrets, two middle ones, and two at the back. Imagine that. Holy. <laughs> if you want to see me bringing to life this idea with a ship of just a lot of guns. Still in the kind of semi-realistic side, but just with a lot of main guns. Please tell me in the comments or even other suggestions. I'm thinking of doing another video with a lot of improvements. I have learned a lot by recording and editing this video. So I am thinking of just doing a destroyer, a, cru a cruiser, a submarine, a plane, whatever next. And just have it a lot more, a lot more well prepared and thought out instead of me just uh, winging it. I've just spawned five dusters, as you can see, and I'm going to test out the AA guns. So for now, since I don't have the AI, I can only fire either the twin 40 millimeters MKH guns or the 20 millimeter 20 millimeters machine guns. I'm going to try out the machine guns since I have 20 three of them damn that's a lot of as you can see they really aren't accurate but they just spam rounds to the sky so yeah look at that it's just oh my god it shreds the plane let's try out the eight guns remember that i have eight guns but only four of them on either side. Oh, I also forgot to. Yeah, these guns. These a bit bigger guns are, aren't actually programmed for. Oh my god, what the hell happened? Oh, okay, it was just the missiles. But it, as you can see, yeah, even though I have a lot of those tiny guns. The bigger ones, the 40 millimeters, are the ones that, that actually pack quite the punch. They really do. So yeah, guys, I'm going to end the video here. I hope, I really do hope you liked it. I know that I may done a couple of mistakes, especially when speaking, because I didn't actually feel that confident talking. I'm a bit better now, but even so, I do have the accent and stuff and I can see why you would be triggered by it so just please bear with it. I am going to improve on my videos, I am going to do different stuff so not only battleships I want to do different things and also I am open to suggestions so you can leave them on my twitter, you can just leave it on the comments but please do communicate, I want to know your thoughts. And I know that this community is great, so I am open for discussion, so please do. So without further ado, see you on the next one.